Hi, thanks again for joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I want to talk about Harry and Meghan's docuseries and whether they are trying to get out of the deal completely. Now, I believe I've done another video on this topic where uh, maybe last week where, where there were all these rumors that they were having some issues with the director and how I guess they cut the, the series up and Megan had made some statement about the fact that it's different from how they would have done it but that she trusts um, the director and so on and so forth and then yesterday I was reading I don't remember where was it Tatla was it Hello Magazine what was it was it Vanity Fair I don't know somewhere where um the, the writer, the author, basically suggested, at least to my way of reading, that the, the series might possibly be, be scrapped completely. I don't remember where I read that. I don't want to misquote anybody. But um, so I did a, I quickly did a blog post about the fact that, in my view, look, if they decide to completely scrap that docuseries, I support it 100%. Like the next person, I'm a voyeur. I would love to see their lives. I'd love to see the inside of their home. I, you know, I want to see um, Archie and Lily and this, that, and the next. But I don't think it's in their best interest to expose themselves and their marriage and their home life in this way to the entire world or to continue to the rift, you know, to continue the rift with the royal family. I've had my issues with the royal family. I have not held back from saying what I thought about all of them from top to bottom, from Queen Elizabeth, King Charles, Camilla, Kate, and William, the six of them, I've had my opinions. But I would like to see this family heal. I want them to heal that rift. I need to see Harry and his brother, William, close again. Because, I mean, I, I was a little girl, not a little girl, but I was alive when... They were born. I mean, I, I watched the wedding of their mother. I was very young, but I watched the wedding of their mother and father. I followed. I cried when she died. I went to Kensington Palace. I stood outside the palace and cried with my mom. And, um, you know, so I love these, these kids and I love this family, even though I have been disappointed quite a lot by this family. And so to the extent that they can heal, I'm all for it. And I don't think a docuseries is in their interest, not from the standpoint of the family relationship, but also the invasion of privacy of people who don't mean well in their lives. If they can get out of it, get out of it. If they can get out of it, then yeah, I think they definitely should be trying to mitigate the damages, doing whatever editing they need to do to reduce you know, any potential fallout. So that's it for this one. If you are not following me on this platform, Please follow. I do have a Patreon page as well. Please support me there. I have a Twitter page. I think I have what, eight followers on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. I have eight followers on Twitter, no followers on Facebook, no followers on Patreon. I mean, it's crazy. But yes, um, whatever support you can give me, I appreciate it. I love you if you're already following. Kisses to you. And see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>